PG Bloggers Radio, what's poppin', y'all? I'm your host, Seven Mitchell. Before we get into tonight's show, I would personally like to take a brief moment of silence, if I may, for the homie Eric Garner and his family out there in New York. Definitely appreciate that. All right, Battle Rat fans and supporters, once again, we back. This is PG Bloggers Radio. I'm your host, Seven Mitchell, one of the fellow PG Bloggers, accompanied tonight by the team out in the BX. We got the first lady of the PG Bloggers, Miss Marty with the flow. Marty, what's popping? Yo, yo, what's good, what's good? Ain't too much. Ready to turn it all the way up. Shout out to Marty turn with the all flow. The way up. Already. Also, we got on the line. My brother, the right hand co host of PG Bloggers Radio Tox, was good, bro. Shit, I can't call it, brother. How you feeling tonight? Slow motion. Slow you motion. Already. What, up, what up, Marty? Yo, what up, Tox? Yeah, yeah. Well, already know. Shout out to all the other PG Bloggers, man, out in California, K Dose Media, Mitch Rich, and K Dose out there. Shout out to them. Also, big shout out to my brother, Sincere Blogs. Dot TV, my homie Sincere, also out there in the BX. Shout out to him. And out in the UK and London, read between the bars, Polo, J. Riley, and Q. Big shout out to y'all holding it down for the PG blog, as you already know how we give it up. Facts, facts. All right, I want to get into some announcements right quick. Before we get into that, Joe, Joe I'm, before we get into that, Tox, I want to go all ahead right. and shout out all the Battle Rap bloggers, also all the Battle oh. Rap radio personalities. Just make sure y'all are clear that we're not trying to be better than anybody. We just want to be different from everybody, you dig? So shout out to y'all. Call us, call up, 347-989-0253. Now, Tox, what type of announcements, bro, do we have before we go ahead and get cooking tonight? All right, I just wanted to brush up, you know what I'm saying, on, on, on these last couple battles that we have released in the past couple days. All right, Queen of the Ring, Aftermath event, they released. K Profit versus Diesel over there on the Queen of the Ring. They got a new thing going on called Queen of the Stage, so I think that was dope. K Profit was getting busy. And then uh, this afternoon, uh, WBL Philly released Swave 7 versus Easy to Block Captain. Mm, so is they, that the uh, same card from the uh, Tyler Rayman battle? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That That was on there. And also a 40-40 battle Briscoe on there, too. So that okay. still hasn't been released. And right. tomorrow, tomorrow, Monday the 21st, we'll have the infamous Math Hoffa versus Disaster battle dropping on KOTD from the Bowl of Five card. So mm. anxious, anxious to see how that looks when they get it all spiffied up and all that, you know. And all also, right, make sure y'all too. Well, what else we got? Also, I was just going to let everybody know that this upcoming Tuesday, tune in to PG Bloggers Radio, same time, 11 p.m., is going to be our official UW Network prediction blog for the Annihilation event. Not blog, excuse me, prediction show for the Annihilation event going down on the 27th. Shout out to UW. All right, shout out to UW, and, 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 and also, And also on that Tuesday... It'll be another overhead bars dropping, Chilla Jones edition. You know what I mean? Any other announcements, and, bro? And you already know today we had Jazz first forty drop. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you get the ball rolling on that topic, though, big bro. So we're gonna get right into it, man. Call us, call up once again three four seven nine eight nine zero two five three. Tonight is ladies' night. Put the children to bed. Get your Popeyes on deck. <laughs> We're going in <laughs> this afternoon. The Queen of the Ring dropped the long-awaited battle, 40 bars versus Jazz the Rapper from the NHB No Holds Barred event that went down the end of June. Shout out to Debo, Babs Bunny, Vig, Brad Butter, the Shooters, all the staff and supporters of the Queen of the Ring. Also, a big shout out to the Rep the Brand Facebook debate group, April, Larry, all the members over there, big supporters of the culture and the and the and the, um, and the league Queen of the Ring. Shout out to y'all. So, Marty, you a huge, huge Jazz the Rapper supporter. Like, what you thought of that Hold on, let me get my water because I don't want to choke. Let me get my water. Mm. Round one of Jazz versus... um. Man, 40. that shit was epic, my nigga. 
I I thought people was just typing it up because 40 fucked up, but nah, Jazz the Rapper bang bars, my nigga. The shit was fucking beautiful. I was so hyped. If you ain't seen my reaction video, you gotta go check that out. That shit was fucking bananas, yo. Man, what y'all yo, thought about it? the reaction that? blog was crazy. Word. Word. The reaction <laughs> blog was bananas. Um, as far as I call it, um, that first round, just haymaker after haymaker for Jazz. Like, she looked so comfortable in the ring. Like, you couldn't tell that it's been a year or two since she was last in the ring. Like, she was just doing her thing. 40 even had a little bit of wordplay with her as well the first round. It just wasn't enough. You know, Jazz came with a total package off the break. And it just got uglier from then on. Like, she left Earth first round. Like, it was not a game. That's a and fact, all. my nigga. Hey, yo, on some real shit, I don't think I've ever seen somebody just land every single punch like that. Like, she she couldn't miss, my nigga. That bar she spit when she said she was 40 for 40, like she had a good game, that mm. shit fit this, fit this shit to a T. It's like she couldn't miss. It's like she threw 40 haymakers. They wasn't regular punches. They wasn't jabs. It was all haymakers, my nigga. Like, <laughs> that bar she hit her with when she was told her that that's a hookah bar, and then she and she went mm. back down the line. <laughs> oh, man, she's, yo, my, she was tearing 40 apart that first round, my nigga. Then she uh. went down the line and said, that's a Luther bar. Then she said, that's a Cougar bar. <laughs> she was just... She was just tearing her ass up, man. Like, I want to get the Jazz. opinion of another PG blogger. We got the homie yeah, Sincere, but SincereBlogs.tv on the line. Sincere, what's up, bro? Yo, it's your boy, PG Bloggers. Oh, man. Live from Hollywood. Yeah. Popping, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. What you think of... This, this, hold up, Tox. What you think about that, Sincere? This battle got me excited as fuck, man. Jazz, nah, I, I ain't gonna fight. You know, I missed the I missed the battle in the building because you know I have to leave early, so you know how people right. overhype battles and shit. I thought they overhyped it, but I seen this shit. Jazz had me jumping in my crib, my nigga. I haven't been hyped off of bars and dumb long, and she brought performance crazy, my nigga. I was hyped, nigga. But she, so she tweeted, confident. she tweeted some mm. shit that Danny Myers inspired her to write. Um. To write for forty, mm. like she she was studying Danny shit to write for forty, so I, I understood this shit. Like she brought them mm. bars to life, my nigga. Like I felt them shit. Like, I was rewinding crazy, nigga. Mm. I don't want to waste no time with it. I want to get some opinions from some of these callers and see what they thought about that first yeah, yeah. round from from Jazz Forty. So we're gonna go ahead and take a couple callers. PG Blog is ready. Our first caller. Let's see if we can get in. Um, two six seven. Four oh seven two six seven four oh seven. You know one PG Bloggers Radio. What's popping? Shout out to PG Bloggers. It's music on MTV. What's Yo. up, music? What's going on, bro? What's good? What's good? You already know. Oh, oh man, you appreciate know, you coming on the show. Calling in, talking about this forty bars and jazz, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. First round. How you call that first round, bro? Oh man, there's no other way I can call that, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Forty bars look kind of nervous up there, man. And I'm a forty bar right. fan. You know what I mean? She looked real uncomfortable, bro. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I give it to Jazz, man. Jazz definitely took that first round. Mm. Was you expecting it to be so clear? Mm, honestly, no. I thought forty bars was gonna really um, give it that work, but. Obviously, 40 bars, you know, didn't come fully prepared. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah. we're going we gonna to break the battle down by rounds, but overall, what do you feel, um, who won the battle, clearly? Was it, you know, 3-0 Jazz or 2-1 Jazz? How you call it? I call it 3-0 Jazz, though. 3-0? Who do you mm -hmm. think next up for Jazz, in your opinion? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. It's hard. I don't know, man. You know what? I would like to see her in official. Jazz versus official? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me let me ask you one more question real quick, music, because I got a special uh, guest I want to go ahead and bring yeah, yeah. on the line. Is Jazz the rapper, yeah. the queen of the ring? Yes or no? No. Stop lying. And no. why? And why is no? No. Nah. 
Why? Because she had one one. Why? Because she beat forty bars. This all of a sudden. Nah, my nigga. Yo, get her off. Come on. Nah, 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 my nigga. Look at her. Let me get this shit off. 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 Let me get this shit who Music, I, I ain't even to. hear what you said, bro. Can you re, can you repeat? I ain't even hear what he said. I said no, oh, man. God. People need to stop vouching, man. She ain't no queen yet, bro. She still got a lot of work to do, man. Oh. We talk about jazz. We talk about yeah. jazz. So <laughs> nah, the queen jazz, of the ring, jazz, been the, jazz been the queen, my nigga. She just took a little queen, time man? off. Now she's who's, back. Who's the queen then? Where, who's the I queen? Can't, I can't even say on my side, bro. Jazz, nigga. A <laughs> <laughs> hey, music man, nah, go ahead like um, oh, and official man. Her and official, that that kind of call yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah. But not, not, you know, not not taking nothing away from jazz because I fuck with jazz. You know what I'm saying? I you know what I'm saying? That. You know, she got that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put you on hold. Don't hang up. Hang tight with me. I'm gonna go nah, ahead. Nah, and, nah, nah. I'm gonna be on shout out CG bloggers. I'm gonna be on. Yeah, no doubt. It looks cool. Salute. PG Bloggers Radio, let's go ahead and get our special guest in here because no doubt she does this. Who we got on the line? It's Jazz. Hey, <laughs> I just want to rap. I just want to rap. <laughs> Word. Get it five. Jazz, Jazz, Jazz. Thank you so much for coming on PG Bloggers Radio. We know it's been a crazy day for you. Congratulations, yeah. man. Jeez, me Christmas. Let's get right into it, Jazz. I ain't going to play no games. I got a question for you off the top. This is Seven Mitchell, one of the PG bloggers. I wanted to know, like, do you feel cheated today? And let me kind of explain why I asked you. Like, on one end, I know it's kind of satisfying, you know, to hear people say you got a clear win. But is it frustrating on the flip side when your opponent kind of lacked that expected X factor that they were supposed to bring for it to be a classic battle? Like, do you feel kind of cheated out of this battle not being as big as it should have been, at least on paper? Um, yeah, I, I think um, me and Forty should have been like the best female battle in history, to be honest. Um, lyrically, not only entertaining wise, but lyrically, because there's a lot of girls that's entertaining, but they're not that nice, like bar wise. And I felt like Forty was the person that would do that for me. Like everybody else I battled, they're not whack. They're not trash, but you know they just not lyrically there to me with me. But um, forty years, she completely dropped the ball. I didn't think she was gonna do that bad. I th- I thought I knew she was gonna lose to what I had, but I thought she was gonna actually like, you know, be forty bars, but she wasn't. So, right. Yeah, I, I definitely still cheated. That was crazy, man. But it was a, it was yeah. a dope performance. It seemed like you took it next level. All three rounds, like, for the most part. I, I didn't like that third round myself. I thought that shit was sloppy, but those first yeah, two I, rounds I was, was super cool. That. I was telling people that. I was like, yo, y'all, y'all was so amazed by me that y'all didn't even realize how, how choppy my third round was. Like, it was just, <laughs> like, my mind was all over the place. And, like, people were like, yo, slow down. And this was, I was trying to get it over with. I didn't want to mess up or nothing. And, and, and they was, like, kind of rushing us to rap so they could leave. But, um... Yeah, my turn was kind of choppy, but as always, I always um work on, you know, I always, like, look at the game tape and, like, try to do better my next battle. So I ain't going to be choppy my next battle. All righty. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you. We can't blame you for it. Now, Marty, Marty with the flow, I know you probably one of the biggest jazz supporters, so I know you probably got true, questions. True, true. You, so. I, I, can't, I can't act like a fan, though. Know? All right. <laughs> Jazz, that's what it does. Yeah, if you didn't check out my reaction, Jazz, you got to go check that out. Um, Alrighty. Man, fuck, fuck all that. You got around the, the beginning, and I'm like, the half of it was like dope. And then after that, you ain't even have to do nothing. You had to already kill her. He was like, all right, my nigga, that's it. She was slapping you, <laughs> blah, 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 but literally you three owe her. She was clear. Nigga, Jazz, yo. Fuck out of here. Shit is crazy. crazy. But I want to ask a question, though. Um, as far as your next opponent, because everybody's wondering, you know, who Jazz got next, and everybody's talking about how um, you go battle next year because niggas don't think you could do it two times in a year. Um, who do you think your next battle should be? Um, 
definitely somebody that's um, ranked like either um, on my level or higher. Uh, you know, people are like, oh, you need to battle official, you need to battle couture. No, I don't need to battle them. I, mm. I don't need to battle them. Um, if they I need beat to battle them, you. I, yeah, basically. If I beat them, it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't do anything for my ranking. You know, maybe more people wouldn't respect me, quote unquote, but for my ranking, no, it, it wouldn't do anything. Um, so maybe somebody like Ehar or Gaddis, but. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I could really see. Would you be in tune, Jazz, to battle on the um battle with the sexes event if Debo was able to put that together? That's something you might would get into. Would I do it? Yeah. It, it depends. It depends on when it is, because I don't um <clears throat> I feel like it's not a necessity for me to battle a guy. I really don't feel like that. Like there's there's other girls to beat. Like I'm not crazy over battling a guy. It's not something that's like a burning drive in me. Right. Can I say something right quick? Hey, yo, Jazz, this Tox, PG Blogger. I just want to say you definitely need to battle a dude because as far as females go, we clearly saw today is no competition out there for you. Like, we thought, like you said, you and 40 was going to be the best battle in history, and you made 40, who was a lot of people's number one, look silly out there. So, like, I just want to say I, I don't think I've ever seen a performance from no female like that. Salute to you on that. That shit was historic, like legendary first round Thank you. work. Thank work. You. Can I can I get you to do one thing for me though, Jazz? Can I get you to break down that uh that triple entendre from the uh from the from the uh Simpson scheme? The I'll give this whole mo bars in the oh. game club. The triple entendre. Can you can you get the fans a little a little diamond in the rough? Uh, I wouldn't say it was a triple entendre. This is I got. I got I got it as a triple entendre, Jazz. You said I give this whole more bars than a gay club, and you and you was in the middle of the Simpson scheme, so it was whole more, or it was Homer, or it was homo, oh. cause the gay bar is homo. Mm. Like, See, I ain't even. Yo, I just gave you a lot of respect. You giving, you giving, you giving. Um, what is it? You giving breakdowns that I ain't even mean. That's the luck. That's tax. That's what tax do. That's what tax <laughs> do. Nah, it was it wasn't Homer. It wasn't Homer. It was um, like Homo. Yeah, it was Mo. Mo the bartender. Oh, okay, okay, mm. okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> homo. That's your homo jam. Kind of you reaching. You reaching. Yeah, that was, that was your reach. <laughs> I'm reaching. Not her. I'm reaching. Yeah, I got no. <laughs> First. Yeah, so, Jazz, we ain't going to hold you up too long. Um, Sincere, you got any questions for Jazz? Yeah, I wanted to, to holler at her real quick. Sincere, you know, Sincere, Bo88 on Twitter. You know, follow me. Keep me, uh, Gmail me, Piss fan. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. <Anyway. laughs> Listen, anyway, uh, your performance was off the chain. Like, you definitely going to let these make these shorty stuff up their game. Like, you just changed the game right now. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> but you definitely need a battle with dude. Um, ranking wise, I do see you battling E Heart. Like I see that being a, a little competition going on there, you know, back and forward. Cause she she got bars to her, and you know she she puts in work in her craft. But mm-hmm. you, you you did your thing, man. Salute to you. Keep, just keep thank going. You. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a method behind your madness, Jazz, when it comes to the amount of times that you battle throughout a year? Is it based off a of competition, or is it just that? You know, you be having so much um, lined up that it doesn't make sense. Not to be honest, the way it started like that was um, when I was in school, and then I graduated last year, and then um, I had hustle, or whatever, and that was what September, and right. I just came back in June. The reason I didn't battle between September and June was because um, the forty boss battle. This like I don't know if y'all know, but this battle has been in the talks since Forty Bars came out. So it's not like it was just a random battle. So I already knew that it it was supposed to be on a, a big big Queen of the Rim card. And once they locked it in, which was in like March, then that's when I just started writing. So it wasn't even on me that time. Like the QB battle, I took that year off. Um, and then the Hustle battle, I took that year off. But the 40 battle, it really wasn't a year of nine months. I mean, it might well be a year, but that was because of when it was supposed to be. So I, I, 
I would have taken 40 in, like, December, January, February, March. It just so happened mm-hmm. that June was when the actual event was, you know? Right. And, um, like, now, and also, when I did do the once-a-year thing, I never had a battle early in the year. I always had it at the end of the year. So it's like, if I'm battling okay. QB in October and hustling in September, I mean, I can battle in December, but, you know, chances are slim that that's going to happen, so I would have to wait till the next year. But, I mean, Which I have ba- more than enough time to, to take another battle this year. Which battle do you feel, in your opinion, had the most pressure as far as, you know, the biggest queen of the ring event with 40, even though you did well on that one, and, you know, being on the Summer Madness stage with Miss Hustle on the URL? You, you have this one getting more pressure? Yeah. I mean, being on that Summer Madness, you know, I mean, being in front of that Summer Madness crowd versus, you know, being at, at this event, the biggest, arguably the biggest event in Queen of the Ring history, like, which battle well, do you, you feel the most pressure? Wise, pre- yeah, preparing-wise? Yeah, pre- preparation-wise. actually wise. being there? Just um, preparation-wise. To be honest, um, none of them had anything. The pressure that I saw had nothing to do with where it was at. Okay. Um, like, the Summer Madness thing, I was always skeptical about big stages. Like, I mean, yeah, big stages. Cause I don't, well, prior to this 40 Wilds battle, I didn't perform much. Like, you never really see me move around like that. And, um... I mean, yeah, I wasn't really, I don't know. The crowd was kind of, like, shaky to me, but it didn't have any, I didn't really feel pressure, like, as far as preparing for her. So right. Uh, 40 battle, I, yeah, I'd probably say the 40 battle being that it was my comeback to clear the ring after three years. So, right. yeah, I'd probably say the 40 battle because I felt like, I felt, like, obligated to do good. Even if it wasn't versus 40 balls, like, it could have been versus Joe Schmo. Like, it was my comeback to Queen of the Ring. So, right. like, I had to, you know, I had to show out. And then, like you said, it was the biggest card. And it's like, there's a lot of people that are fans of me, but they've never seen me battle live because I don't battle so often. So it's like, catch me if you can. And a lot of people were, like, flying out and stuff like that. So I felt like I owed them, really, to be honest, like, I was in interviews saying, like, yeah, I'm going to have top three lines or top three, top three moments that night because that's just what I wanted to bring to the car. It was a big car. I, I got to just, I got to do it big. So I was going to say the 40, right. the 40 battle, um, I, felt, I felt more pressure. That's what's up. That's what's up. You want to take a call or two, Jazz? We got time to take a call or two before we let you go? Sure. All right, we're just going to take a call real quick. Got a call calling out to 330-431. 330-431, you now on PG Bloggers Radio with Jazz the Rapper. What's popping? 330-431. All right. Might be a 40 fan, so we're going to go ahead and keep <laughs> it moving. Stage fright. We're going to the, we're gonna take the next call. we got 848-459. 848-459, you're now on PG Bloggers Radio with Jazz the Rapper. What's popping? What's up? Hey. What's popping? Who we hey, got? Hey, guys. Hey. Who we got on the line? Y'all don't know who I am now? Prototype. Wow. <laughs> oh, this prototype. Right, What's that's up, G? Prototype. My bad. My bad. <laughs> What's up? Ain't Ain't too much. We're on line with Jazz. No, I don't. I don't have a question for Jazz, but I do want to say something to her. When um, I forgot who was battling before her, I was in the building, and she stood right behind me. And she was like, "Yo, I just, I just can't wait until I get in the ring. Like, all I want to do is battle." So I knew her there. <laughs> she was going fuck something up. <laughs> like I knew from there, she was too hyped to be like, you feel me? Like she wanted to get in that ring. Like she did not want to wait anymore. So when she got in that ring, I just knew. I knew she was going to kill someone. Yeah. A lot of 40 people was like surrounding me. They was like, nah, she's going to get killed. I'm like, y'all sleeping on a nigga that's got, that got bars. Like, y'all crazy. Right. So, that's crazy. So, they, were so, they were so, like, um, like, Trump, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they were just so, like, into 40. Like, she just had them in a trend. <laughs> she they buy it, so. They felt like she was like God, like she was unbeatable, she was invincible, and yeah, like she just like I said in the battle, she ain't never really battled nobody that 
that was really, really good, like, that knows how to beat people. So how could you, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, 40's nice. I, I think she's really, really great. But she's not great against people that are lyrically good. Every time she faces somebody that's very really good, they make her look different. What people don't right. realize that because they're, mm. in, they're too into her. That's facts right there. Prototype, hang tight, and we're going to get you back on the line when we break the battle down. I'm just going to take one more caller real quick. Mm. All right. We're going to take one more call of a jazz. We've got 760-871. 760-871. You're now on PG Bloggers Radio. What's popping? Don't sleep. Dozy. Dozy. PG Media. Blogger. What's going on, brother? Man, what's going on with the going on? West up, y'all. Ain't nothing. You hang tight, bro. I ain't going to take no questions from you. You one of the team. So I'm going to go ahead and take a call from a supporter. Hang tight for me, Dozy. Got another call at 781-775. 781-775. You now on PG Bloggers Radio. What's popping? Yo, what's up? What's good? We got Jazz the Rapper on the line. Who we got? My name is Mark Christofori, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, actually. Oh, shit, man. Talk that <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm a jazz hey. fan over at Florida fan. I support no jazz. She's Thank one of my you. favorite no battle doubt. rappers. Um, yeah, that battle with 40 was crazy. Uh, definitely a 3-0. That, uh, I actually just tweeted you the um, Carlisa team. Oh, oh you did? <laughs> yeah, that had me in stitches. I oh, was dying. Boy. Your name Car Lisa and you can't even lease a car. Oh, Yikes. Nice. I'm <laughs> straight up. Yikes. I mean, you got I'm any questions just, for Jazz? Uh, uh, I have no idea. Um, I just wanted to say, like, you were one of my favorite battle rappers, obviously. And uh, right after Couture, I put you on my top five. That's a battle that I really, really wanted to see, but I understand where you're coming from. They're not quite on your level yet, but a couture okay. battle would be crazy. Yeah, I like her. I like her. Yeah, one of my faves. Yeah. All right, Carl, we definitely appreciate you calling in the PG Bloggers Radio. Hang tight. Don't hang up. I'm just going to go ahead and meet you real quick. We'll get you back. All right. All right, word. All right, bro. <laughs> but we definitely want to appreciate you calling in the PG Bloggers Radio. You got any shout-outs, anything you want to give before you go? Um, wow, well, man, just keep watching that battle and promote it. I need I need y'all to watch it, like, twice because I'm not going to get no views from 40 fans at all. <laughs> so you got I, you, I need Jazz. that view count. <laughs> we got you, We're going to get that replay value up. You already know how we give it up. Definitely going to show support. Definitely shout-out to Jazz. Salute to the Queen of the Ring. Let's fucking go. Let's PG go. Bloggers Radio, 347-989-0253. That was Jazz the Rapper. Tox, second round, yes, man. What you think of that? Uh, second round was more of the same, my brother. Like, the Jazz, for them first two rounds, I don't think she let up off of 40 for not one second, my brother. The second round, she hit her with that, that Simpson scheme we was just talking about. And then she hit her. She hit her with the other, uh, the, the, uh, get smacked in your gums if I feel the shit, Rick Lee. All that shit in in different world is something you ain't with, Lee. All that, you know what I'm saying? She was barring her life away, my nigga. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what to say besides that's just a legendary performance right there. Classical, classical performance. I know we also uh, had the PG blogger K Doze. From K Dose Media came through. Dozy, did you get a chance to see Jazz versus Forty today? Man, I didn't watch. I'm actually watching it uh, right now. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing. Uh, I had a lot of stuff oh, going man. on today, man. But so I'm watching it right now, and I am like, that's why. To, to be real, I didn't want to even get on yet, man, because I was like, yo, <laughs> she is cooking this shit right now. I'm just like, what the hell? Like, yeah. I've been hearing it seen it on Twitter, everybody been saying it, but to actually witness it, and I'm loving the Something bandana different. pants. I love it. <laughs> the bandana go pants take another, so dope. We're going to take another caller and see what they feel about the battle so far. 903-258, you now on PG Bloggers Radio. What's poppin'? 
What up? You know this is Josie. What's up, Josie? What's good with you? Man, uh, Jazz, why y'all why y'all put Jazz on? <laughs> I talked to Jazz because before, the, man. Well, where your people's at acting on Hollywood? Where's she at? We're forty. <laughs> no, 40. this is I. This is y'all. Y'all know me as Isis on Twitter. So, right. But she knows me as uh, Josie from the debate page. So uh, and they know me as forty biggest supporters. So <laughs> everybody <laughs> knows Josie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so like so check this out knew. because you are clearly one of forty, if not the biggest uh, support for forty bars. So you know, what I mean, you kind of gave us your opinion about the battle because you was in the building. But now that you've seen yeah, it on cam, do you feel any different? from, you know, actually being in the event, from seeing it on camera today? I actually think it was worse in the building than it was on camera. Mm. Yeah. It was worse in the building. Because I finally, finally got to hear what, I finally got to hear clearly what both of them said for for what 40 got out. So, and as far as the booing part goes, I believe that was one coming from one person in the crowd. I'm not gonna say who it was, but she knows she is. But <laughs> <laughs> so let me so ask you real you quick get, before I take the next caller. Who's your um? What? Who's the queen of the ring? Uh, Jazz is it still forty. Uh, uh, forty is still my number one. Period. You give forty a round. What round do you give forty? No, I don't you give forty around. Oh, she got three oh. All right. Cool. Okay. Cool. I right, so just hang tight for me. But I don't, and take I don't, I don't, call. I'm saying I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was that bad on footage as it was in the building. Because it was really the bad. The crowd was building. going bananas, yo. Yeah, I mean that the crowd. Some some of the crowd was gassing throughout all the battles. They was gassing for real. But like <laughs> it's like when you watch when you watch the Couture and official battle, and that's mm. why the battle was so long because they was they both kept having falls and stuff. Because a lot of the basic stuff that should not have got crowd reaction did get it. Right. If you understand what I'm That's saying. That's crazy. Oh, I Hi, definitely feel like that. <laughs> Hang tight for me, Isis. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to go ahead and take another call to get their opinion. All right. All right, my nigga. PG Bloggers Radio. We talking Queen of the Ring, No Hose Bar, Jazz the Rapper versus 40 Bars. Take another caller real quick. We got the two six seven four zero seven two six seven four zero seven. You now on PG Bloggers Radio. What's popping? Fully really automatic. Music, uh, MTV, silly all day. M- music, all right, look, what's man, Look, 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 man. I don't beat around the bush, man. Straight from the gate. Uh, Jazz the rapper built up on. on uh, it was like she was building her 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 verses. Like like her first one was crazy. All of a sudden, her her second one got even more crazier. You feel me? It was like no right. chance for 40 bars. And you can see it, like I said in the first one, you can see it in 40 bars. She wasn't fully 40, 40 bars. You feel me? I feel so, you. Yeah. I definitely feel Yeah, Marty got that so what you, shot sent up. <laughs> tell everybody where they can follow you, music, because I know we we on the same social network. Tell everybody where they can follow you and shit. Yeah, they can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at music. I M T V, just spell it regular, just put it all together. Music on M T V I support P G bloggers, I support the culture. Y'all already know. Alrighty. Definitely appreciate you calling in, brother. I'm gonna get with you later on that to the show most definitely. I'm listening. I'm I'm on all night. All right, my <laughs> nigga. One. Yeah. All right. Give me one second. I'm gonna take another call. We're gonna take another caller from the nine one seven three two eight. Nine one seven three two eight. You now on PG Bloggers Radio. What's poppin'? What's good, yo? It's Hus. Um, the fish shooter. Hus, what's good, bro? What's good, nigga? What's good? You already know I gotta come through, show love to PG Bloggers. You know what I'm saying? Yes, All over international, representing much love to the culture, the whole side over there. I just dropped my second episode of Wild News. Y'all need to go check that out. YouTube channel. Wow News and Lee Wow will come up. You see that, you know, much love. You go show your love and shit like that. You know, I got to stop by. I'm going to start stopping by every Sunday and start showing y'all love just for the strength. You know what I'm saying? Already. Already. Did you get a chance to check the battle out today? Um, actually, this whole shit, because I'm editing the whole shit myself, it takes me literally the whole day to do it. But I'm going to check it out right. as soon as I 
as soon as I get off this phone call with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Right now, you know, I'm 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 just smoking a little something right now, easy, you know what I'm saying? Settle down my night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and buzz, <laughs> man. Go ahead and buzz. Bars. You already know, I'm going to definitely go through that right now. But shout out to y'all. Much love. And uh, keep I'm grinding out there. Hey, young. My, my uh, all right. We're going to holler back at you, bro. So, overall, since yo, in your opinion, you know what I mean? Who, who you got? 30201? How you call it? <laughs> nah, I, I got 3 0, bro. I mean, the, the closest yeah. round to me. Because 40 had bars still, but it just wasn't what enough, bro. Like, at all. 40 had bars, though. She had some shit. But, you know, the first one, they, like a 40 fan could probably say that she took that or is debatable. But I got Jazz winning 3 0. Like, Edging the first. Not even Edging, just 3 0 in her. Like, <laughs> I don't even want. I, I, I'm going to say body. Like, I got Jazz winning the whole battle, bro. Like, everything. Like, every aspect, every angle. Like, no, nothing. I mean, the third was shaky, but still, it was enough to, to fuck up 40 third. You know what I'm saying? Like, so who you calling the queen of the ring? You know I'm going to call Jazz the queen of the ring. She got vibes, nigga. Jazz does this. And performance now. Now, her performance killed it for me, yo. I'm not getting it. Like, that shit so still fucking the it's so are we She looks so comfortable. Out, are we exiting out Miss Hustle from being queen of the ring? What? Well, <laughs> you got to... You gotta, Step in that ring and put in that work now. Nah, nah, um, shit, nah, she I just battled fucking Misfit last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, oh, yeah, we fucked her. Yeah. Queen of the Ring. So she's she strictly URL. I guess because um, her and oh. her, I believe Debo had a misunderstanding. She said that shit. Uh, oh no. Shit, they put her back up. I got Jazz. Jazz is outperforming everybody. Like, I like to see her face so. We are and gathered. Like one of them performances. Niggas will perform. We do got prototype. Let me see if I get prototype. Prototype, you on? Hello? Yo, yo, don't be hanging up, yo. Yeah, my nigga was calling. Hold on. <laughs> nice. So, overall, no, what's your overall up. opinion of the, of the 40 versus jazz battle? Um, I guess it's obvious. <laughs> she killed her. Like, I I don't think this is the thing. I don't think Forty was prepared. You feel me? Like if Forty was prepared, I think it would be a debatable battle because Forty, you know, she do have bars somewhat, but Jazz Jazz killed her, so it's really nothing to talk about. Well, so who's next for Jazz in your opinion? Like Jazz said, like people. People want to see her battle official and things like that, but like she said, like her resume, she don't need to battle them. Like if she win, it's not going to do nothing for her. You feel me? Like if the, if if official win, it'll do something for official. But as far as Jazz battling somebody to rank her, it would be like E Heart. I won't even say Gaddis, but yeah. Right. What you think, Marty? I mean. Clear three zero. I mean, I know oh, what your nigga. reaction blog was, but oh, nigga. Well, nigga, I'm, I'm still fishing. Oh, nigga, Jazz called in. <laughs> Yo, three zero, clear, my nigga. No fucking debate. I don't want to hear that shit. And if I see a forty fan say that she could win that shit because she had bars on the first, the first round, and you know she had a little dirty something on the third round. If anybody told me as yo that I, I'm not making no more blog money, that shit would be stupid. But anyway, that's the rap. She was on here. You heard? Let me check. All right, go next. Let me see if I can get Monster from the bar critics saying, Monster, what's popping, bro? Y'all <laughs> niggas doing it big, yo. I feel like niggas just putting me to the side like I ain't even getting no love, yo. You <laughs> know what I mean? That is what up, though. But on a real though, I want to salute Forty for for losing. I want to salute Jazz for winning. Cause that's what it is. You know what I mean? Because somebody had to take the L, and I'm a Forty fan. I mean, not a fan, but a supporter though. You feel me? I just want to say this, yo, because I'm gonna be out of here after this on on the low. Just want to say I always supported the 
the uh, the PG bloggers, man. That's why I always put y'all on the map every time I got a chance to. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I definitely shed the spotlight on you guys as much as possible, man. Y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all, y'all doing it big now. Y'all do your thing, man. And uh, Monster out. You heard? Love is love, love man. Show. Shout out to the Bar Critics, the only show that matters, man. We appreciate you, man. You already know. That was the homie Monster from the Bar Critics. Got a crazy battle rap radio show as well every Saturday on Nonfiction Radio, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Make sure y'all go check that out. Also, I think we got on the line from the DFW Battle League, the homie Hero. Hero, what's poppin', brother? I don't even want to talk about the battle no more. <laughs> we, you know what we're going to talk about, so let's talk about it. <laughs> nah, man. Yo. I got Jazz 3 though. Man, I'm over here tight. <laughs> I'm tight. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about shit here, bro. Nah, man, but Jazz, like I said, man, Jazz is in another world in that battle. Like, man, she she loaded looks with no choke <laughs> against Kyle, her ass. Like, <laughs> who in your opinion oh. match up well against against Jazz at this point? Is it only a male rapper? I can't really think of no female rappers that really will match up with her right now. At this point, it's not a female battle that she can take that makes sense. Like you said, Gaddis or or, or E Hart, which to me don't even make she kill E Hart. And Gaddis, like, I, where does Gaddis battle every fucking word? So it wouldn't make sense to make it a queen of the ring battle. They can put that on a bigger platform. Right. Mm-hmm. So so I feel like just for her battling period, like, she just wasn't taking a battle. It had to be a dude. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing Tay Rock versus, uh, Tay Rock versus Jazz. Matter of fact, Jazz, Jazz uh, would die. I wish you this. Uh, O'Reilly brought that up when he was doing that little scheme with, um, when he was battling, um, Damn it, Miss Hustle. That'd be crazy though. A bunch of bars. No doubt. Speaking of bars, you just had the battle that was dropped. At, what I believe it dropped last night, yesterday, or did it drop it today? It dropped real late. We yeah, it dropped real late last night. Uh, Killing Trey is probably about to drop too, so y'all be on the lookout for that. I think it's uploading as we speak. Man, now you and Wavy put on a pretty dope performance. I was I was pretty impressed. Saw a little bit of wordplay. A little bit of aggression, a little bit of stage presence. So it was some dope shit, man. I, I, I called it 2-1 your way. I thought you edged that shit. Um, that you, third round you. was real debatable to me, man. Like, I don't know. Like, Wavy was cooking that third. Like, I, he went first. So I, if he would have went second, he might have had your ass. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> he went That's first right. and you sealed the deal. So you definitely did your fucking <laughs> thing, Hero. Shout out to you, my nigga. <laughs> Everybody going crazy over that. Uh, he be with Earl more than I future line. Like I got that line tweet to be like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is the homie? Wait a minute. Oh shit! I think my co-host. Okay. Tox. Yeah, I'm right here, man. I'm my bad. My bad. That was my fault. I got disconnected. I had to call back up. And my damn phone will vibrate. I ain't even hear. I can't. I'm looking now. I see you hit me. I apologize. But um, we got Hero on the line, man, from DFW. Baby. Hero. We just talking about. What's up, man? All y'all good work. Good morning. work last night, thank my nigga. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to hear what y'all got to say. Marty, man. talk that I, shit, Marty. Talk, tell a nigga Hero what you told me about his battle. Um, <laughs> yeah, she said, I think she said I lost 3 0. I got body. I think she said, you know, he nah, nah, I got body. Nah, I didn't know how to say that. <laughs> No, nah, nah, my homie Juju you said that shit. <laughs> oh? Yo, I said second round, um, I gave it to Wavy. The third okay. round, I gave it to Hero. And then the first round, it was a toss up. I tossed that shit up to God because I, I couldn't shoot that shit, you know, because y'all both, y'all both did good, but then at the same time, y'all didn't go as hard as the other round. But, yo, Hero, I ain't fucking with you. You fucking really choked, my nigga. I was touching tight. Yeah, I act like it was brand new. I told y'all. I told no, I don't. I, hey, you I know what? That's why, that's why I respected the most because he did come on the show last week and let niggas know what was going to happen. So it wasn't a surprise, but he was yeah. able to seal a deal. So I ain't mad at him. And, and my whole thing well, that's, was Tokyo. That's like, the only round he lost, though. My whole mm-hmm. thing with Tokyo, like, like with a whole bunch of, a lot of battle rappers. Like, I don't, if I feel like, if I feel like I choked or, like I said, a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of battle rappers. Don't draw that shit out. I just gave it around. Like, I'm not going to keep saying the same thing an hour, an hour long trying to get the shit back if I can't get it back. 
Like, fuck it, let's go to the next round. Like, you can't you can't change that shit at the end of the day. Right. Hey, yo, I don't know if Hey, yo, Seven Mitch, I don't know uh, if anybody out there is familiar with uh, a lot of the spit that heat rappers, but I was talking to Hero last night. And I feel like a good matchup for Hero would be my man Riggs from down there at Spit That. Mm, so I think about that. Mm, I kill Riggs. Yeah, I, I fucks with Riggs. that matchup, Tox. I fucks with that. And, and Riggs is following me. I'm going to holler at Riggs and see what he think about that. You said Riggs. you would kill Riggs? I, I kill Riggs. Whoa. Nah, blo- nah yo. That ain't a class of games battle, though, man. I got to talk to you. We're recording that. We're recording that now, Hero. We're going to play it back for him. We're going to play it back for him and let him know what you said gotta, now. You better, you better own up to that. Hey, we I got a crazy editor, though. <laughs> we got a crazy editor. We got a crazy oh, editor. Don't worry about it. We got you covered, my nigga. Nah, Any shout-outs you want to give here, bro? Hey, I want to give a shout-out to Blow, Middle Time Blow, Spit the Heat Autumn for coming out, man. We go all crazy battles that night, man. Like, wait till I see these killer trades. I can't wait for this shit to finish up. Um, y'all know DLW Battle League, PG Bloggers, all y'all for paying attention to us, giving us the opportunity that y'all gave us in the first place, man. And just keep, man, you and just keep up with it. It's only going to get bigger and better, man. I told you, I got to get a Dallas PG blogger to us. Y'all can have somebody there in person. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm looking word. to I'm expand. I'm looking, I'm looking to expand, so you need to put me on for somebody down there that know their content, man, and tell them highlight me. All right, that's a bet. We're going to have to fly one of y'all out for one of these events, though. Some, we got something crazy cooking up, another huge car. I plan on flying one of y'all out. Not mighty though. Them females y'all got down there, y'all fly me out. I'm staying down there. I'm telling you now, so let's be clear. Not mighty. I can't fly mighty out because you going to say everybody from New York won. <laughs> yo, 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 Hero. Yo. Get him off the line. Get him off the line. Talk straight. <laughs> hey, yo, Hero, we go holler back at you, man. You know we back at it Tuesday night if you get a chance. Call up and fuck with us, man. No problem, man. BLV game, man. All right. Salute, hero. PG Bloggers Radio, man. <laughs> it's just about to wrap this shit up. It's been a crazy one. We definitely appreciate everybody that called in to rock out with us tonight. We know we was kind of all over the place. Um, shout out again to Jazz the Rapper for calling in fucking with us. Big shout out to everybody that called in that's listening online. Man, what you think about the show tonight, Marty? Man, 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 I don't need go. Honestly, I'm still speechless. I don't know. He ever talked to me and everything. That wasn't really me talking. That was just, you know, that was not me. I'm still on jazz, my nigga. Jazz, nigga. Y'all should have had her the whole show. All right? Next yeah. time. Next time. This show Dozy, by what's poppin', Dozy? Yeah, I know I'm over here quiet, y'all, but, hey, this show's been amazing, man. I'm, I feel like a real fan. I'm just a fan listening, man, for real. You guys did an amazing job, man. Great show appreciate all around. That, I really um, I really appreciated what um, my man Tosh brung up because right as he was bugging up that the second round with Jazz, I was watching it. Mm-hmm. You got so to see it up so far. Yeah, and I was like, oh! <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like... Uh, y'all know I sound like a fan right now, but, man, salute to y'all, man. PG Bloggers all day. What's up, man? Bye. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Tox, what you feel about the night show, bro? Man, I, I feel like it went by real fast, my nigga. Time flies when you're having fun. Definitely, definitely have fun talking to the fans, talking to the callers, and especially talking to Jazz. Shout out to Jazz. Salute to Jazz. Once again, legendary performance. That's pretty much Already it. Already know. Already know. Once again, I'm Seven Mitchell, man. I, again, I can't say it enough. I thank everybody for taking time out to tune in with us tonight. Queen of the Ring, no hoes, Bob. Make sure y'all go ahead and check out that Jazz the Rapper versus 40 Bars battle. Tweet it out. Share it on your Facebook. Let's get these views up, man. Debo and them doing a good thing over there. So shout out to the brand over there. Anybody got any uh, any you know final shout outs or announcements or anything before we get off the air? Hey man, yeah. you already know man. Rep that West Thursdays, 11 p.m. East time, 8 p.m. West time. Shout out to all the PG bloggers. Got love for all of y'all. Appreciate what all y'all bring to the table. 
shout out to the homies at War Room Sports as well, and all the battle rappers who do this because it's not easy to do. Salute. Already know. Talk, you got any final thoughts? Man, you already know, man. Shout out to the PG Bloggers family, man. Shout out to the Angry Fan Movement. Be on the lookout for that overhead bar, Silla Jones edition, coming Tuesday. Alrighty, Marty, how about you? Man, I wanna I wanna give a shout out to um to K Profit because she if like, if y'all ain't watched that K Profit versus Diesel that shit was fucking dope. Um, K Profit is definitely back. Um, definitely was a crazy battle. Um, salute to Jazz the Rapper for calling in. You know, you know um Miss Miss Jazz the Rapper I'm out here representing. Um, anyway, salute to my PG bloggers. Y'all here, you heard? I already know. We back at it, y'all, Tuesday night, 11 p.m. Eastern, PG Bloggers Radio, where we will be doing the predictions on the UW Annihilation card. Make sure y'all call up, rock out with us. Let's get some of these predictions knocked down. It's going to be a crazy one. Again, shout out to the culture, the Seven Mitchell with the PG Bloggers. Stay safe. We back at it Tuesday night. Be easy. Yeah, watch it. Uh, got the worst on the track. Fed on the boards. Chuck, this is the Mago. Wow. Yeah, the statistics shows my ballistic flows in a rape big cake. My wit can't those that spot can tee them up. Uh, uh, O's. I'm so ready, I done pack my clothes I'm so happy with no D, I done boys I rock them gators more than good beat boys I'm the real raw deal, y'all just still decoys Like them duck hunters running, slowing whistles, making noise It's official, tell the missiles, I'm the dizzle Flow sizzle, flow sizzle, I'm off the hizzy, busy signal I got that hustle